But I would much rather do this during the day, so I guess we're going to wait here for a second. It's three in the morning. Let's wait. I think what I have realized is that there's two great pleasures in Fallout 3. One is melting people with whatever the hell this thing is. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure she was not a bad guy. Just killed a good guy. And better than slaughtering your allies with a laser cannon is slaughtering your enemies with a nuke. Oh, we missed! <laughs> Seriously? All right, blowing your enemies up with a nuke. Yeah, that one's not missing. Or it did, but it didn't matter. <laughs> He's ashes. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into what has been considered by some to be the best video game of all time. And I have to say, I don't disagree with that. This, of course, today is Fallout 3. This is the third Fallout game in the series, but in many ways it was the first. It was the first first-person shooter entry to the series. It was the first Fallout game by Bethesda Game Studios here. Um, Fallout was originally developed by Interplay, but the company was kind of mismanaged when out of business, and uh, Bethesda ended up becoming the rights holders to Fallout. This is also the first Fallout game on home console. Which is where I played it, actually, even though back in the day I was a PC player, and that's where I played uh, Fallout 1. And uh, this is the first Fallout game to take place outside of California. Fallout games, uh, notoriously, the first two at least, not notoriously, but they, they took place around Vault 13, which was, uh, I think, sort of near San Francisco. Might have the location wrong, but it's in California. This game takes place in Washington, D.C., in the post-apocalypse. Uh, a desolate wasteland full of mutants and ghouls where humanity has lost all hope. You know, actually, that kind of just sounds like modern, contemporary Washington, D.C., but uh, who am I to judge? Anyway, Fallout 3 is a big game here, and when I sat down to play it, I knew that there was about an hour of tutorial that you had to work your way through before you got to the real game. So... I actually went ahead and played that hour, and I uh, ended up recording it. Uh, and if you're interested in watching like the full hour, um, you know, check me out on Patreon. You can watch like the full extended thing. But uh, for everybody else, uh, here's what you missed. I was born. I'm a guy. I was named Mangor the Mighty. I have a beard. I was a baby. I picked my skills. Nine years passed. I had a birthday. I fought a bully. I got a poem. I got a gun. The gun was the better present. More time passed. I told the bully off. I wrote the goat. Even more time passed. My dad ran away. They blamed me for some reason. They gave me a gun. A bunch of roaches showed up. The bully's mom was trapped in there with the rad roaches. My mom's trapped in there with the rad roaches! I decided to help the mom. I couldn't find the mom. I'm pretty sure the mom died. <laughs> I shot some roaches. I shot this guy's head off. I shot this guy's head off. I picked a lock. I hacked the computer. Well, sort of. I opened the vault door. I got the hell out of there. And I leveled up. So that about brings you up to speed with the tale of Mangor the Mighty. So we are now entering the wasteland. Here's where the real game begins, guys. Just uh, let's let's take a minute to soak it all in. So here it is, the the desolate apocalyptic future that awaits us all look at it everybody soak it in all right now the one the one thing i i think i noticed in the tutorial is i don't think you can run in this game which is a little bit of a shame makes the game feel a little dated in terms of first person shooters like i really want to click in the left thumbstick to run but i just sort of duck and sneak instead anyway um galaxy news radio station found I seem to recall... don't know how to do this. I think there is... Yeah, look. There's Enclave Radio and Galaxy News. You just sort of have, like, news radio going on in the background. Um, I If I find a music station, we'll definitely tune to that. But look at this. These poor suckers. They didn't know what awaited them. Now, Fallout, of course, being an RPG, is all about the loot. 
You gotta actually loot everything. Oh my god, somebody left drugs and grenades in this mailbox. Well, we will take it. I don't know who's trying to mail drugs and grenades. But we definitely are gonna take it. Let's see what else we got down here. Look at all this sweet loot. Empty soda bottles! I will shoot them instead. Um, oh god, what is this? Some kind of propaganda probe, I, I seem to recall. It's easier to do a job right than to explain why you did. Yeah, here it's like it's like producing propaganda. You guys hear that? Anyway, uh, Megaton is that way. So, oh god, look, there's like playgrounds that are burnt out and everything. All right, so so the the meat and potatoes of Fallout. Oh, actually, wait, what is this? A vending machine. Cokes, give me some Nuka Colas. Uh, the meat and potatoes of Fallout is that it's a it's a. A, an RPG that takes place uh, post-apocalyptically, but so, it sort of has this 1950s aesthetic to it. Sort of like if the apocalypse happened in the 50s, this is what it would be like. So it's like if the, the technology of the 50s continued for another 100 years and then the apocalypse happened. Because there's like laser guns and stuff, but they look like ray guns from like B-grade sci-fi movies of the 50s. Um... And, yeah, it's all about sort of wandering this sort of Mad Max-style wasteland and getting into very uh, ambiguous situations. Oh, what is that? There seems to be... Hey, look, there's a guy over here just hanging out. What is up, my man? Mickey. Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. Uh, Mickey? All right. Uh, do I, do we have water? I have to go now. <laughs> Please, help. That conversation ended abruptly. Alright, is that a dead giant spider? Oh god, a giant ant. Did you just kill a giant ant, bro, with your weird cow creature here? Oh, it's got two heads, yes. These are Brahmin. These are the cows of the Fallout uh, universe. Fun fact... Fallout, uh, I think, was banned in India because it has two-headed cows. <laughs> so there you go. Cut it out. Um, I'll talk to these guys in a second. But basically, the world of Fallout is about uh, you know getting into these morally ambiguous situations. Um, and so I'm hoping to do some of that with us here today. Megaton, we're going to see in a moment, is a city that was built around an unexploded nuclear bomb. Which does not sound like a good place to build a city, but whatever. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in top. Okay. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares... Okay, so he, he wants to sell sell me stuff. Make the man, so he can sell me cow skin, yourself. leather, leather armor. Ooh, actually, raider armor. Raider saddest armor. Interesting. So you could be like a, uh, a sadist. I actually would not mind buying leather armor from him. Seems reasonable. Stim packs are always good. Storm chaser hats. Let's go ahead and buy some leather armor. Why not? Let's spend all our money at the first store we encounter. And is there anything that we could trade him? We have we did steal a bunch of stuff when we bailed out of the uh, vault. We have like police batons. We have some psycho drugs. Do you want psycho drugs, man? I usually don't use drugs in in Fallout because your guys can get addicted. Um, tinted reading glasses here. You can have those. Um, I'll sell you the clothes off my back. In fact, and I will sell you security armor. And a security helmet, and utility jumpsuit. Why not? I'll even sell you a lab coat. And a wrench. There. Now, now, see, when this deal is done, now he owes me money. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of stim packs off. Maybe just one. Alright. Uh, now, oh, I guess we have to, like... Oh, wait, I don't have any caps. Whoops. <laughs> I was looking at his 138 caps over here being like, oh, we have tons of money. I don't have any money. Okay, I will accept that trade. Give me a shout if you need anything else. All right, I have to go now. My planet needs me. Uh, let's go into our armor here. I'm going to turn off the radio because it's actually like semi-distracting here. 
uh, let's go in and wear leather armor. Boom, damage rating 13. So now if you look at your guy, he's wearing armor. So we have successfully upgraded our guy. All right, so yes, I'm looking forward to getting into some combat, some morally ambiguous situations, and of course this. Bullet time. Not only bullet time, but you can like choose if you want to shoot someone in the arms, the torso. Fallout 1 and 2 actually had better options here. You could shoot them in the groin and or the eyeballs. <laughs> so you could, you could choose whether to literally shoot someone in the eyeball. They took that out of this one. Also, I guess they took out the groin too, but... I mean, that's that's just to clean the game up a bit, I guess. But, I mean, come on! We're, we're, we're doing drugs we found in some random mailbox. The entire planet's been wiped out. I can't shoot someone in the genitals if I want. It's a needless censorship there, you know. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor, too, when the need arises. It sounds like a conflict of interest, I buddy. Like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. All right. I will say nothing. The quiet type, huh? Fine. Might help keep you out of trouble. I hope you're not a weirdo. All right, message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Um, I'm looking for my father. So my father ran away from the vault. We're trying to find him. Nope. Sorry. All right, this guy doesn't know anything. What about it? Um... <laughs> I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And so, yes, they, uh... Okay. Um... Anyway, let's just get out of this conversation here. I have to go now. So here's their bomb. All the way down here. It's literally like an impact crater. And I guess during the Great War, one of the sides, whatever side was attacking America, dropped this bomb and it never exploded. I shall be blind with his glory. And some people worship it. Oh, and it, it's still giving off radiation. <laughs> so, you don't want to get too close to that thing. So, there's a town to explore. Um, one thing we could do, though, is if we sneak... You can try pickpocketing people, actually. <laughs> she only has a couple bullets. Uh, my pickpocketing skills are not great, but you can't... It, it is possible. I think if you pickpocket people, things go downhill pretty quickly. Who's this guy? Megaton Settler. What do you got in your pockets? Nothing. I like how you're allowed to just sort of rummage in pockets, and that doesn't cause any offense. It's like you can see what you can pickpocket, but if you actually take it, then you're in a lot of trouble. All right, Lucas Sims House. There is a store somewhere around here. Supplies. This way? You can also break into people's houses, which is fun. Water processing plant. It's not what I wanted. Where is... I, I totally remember there being, like... Craterside Supply. Here it is. A very nice, helpful young lady in town who will sell you pretty much anything, I think. Here she is. Hello. Moira Brown. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. One of you? Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. All right, Moira, show me what you got. Um, actually, where'd you get the vault suit? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. Huh. She didn't know a thing about the wastes. And I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. Interesting. I don't recall anyone leaving the vault in that tutorial that we did. Um, blah, blah, blah. What? Oh, so she's working on a book. And she will send us on little missions to go learn about wildlife around here. People could really use a compil- For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. No, then they just yell a lot. So we have to go out and we have to, like, kill wildlife. Um... All right, then. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation... Ooh, sounds like fun! Okay, so they she wants us to go to- I know I'm, I'm skipping through the dialogues pretty quick, but... Um, okay, what are you looking for? Well, there's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Will do. 
I'll check out the Super oh. Duper Mart. Um, now, um, let's see what she has for sale. Uh, there you go. All right, she has got gun and eight ball, an armored vault suit. Damn, that actually is way better than the thing I have. Uh, biker goggles, damaged garden gnome. There, she's just selling everything, really. Like a fire hose nozzle, she'll sell us literally anything. More drugs, radiation suit. Okay, nothing we can really afford. The way you get stuff in Fallout is usually not through bartering, it's through killing bad guys. Sometimes good guys, mostly bad guys. Um, have you hmm. seen my father? Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's. Huh, where is the saloon? Speak to Colin Moriarty about dad. Okay. Wait, can she repair you my equipment? Caps? <laughs> my glasses. My glasses. They need repairs. 94 caps. Forget it. I'll just wear these, these, uh, this leather armor until it turns into, uh, rags. No help from you. So when things are red, if you use them, you'll get in trouble. But if you're sneaky, we're detected. If you're, if you're, like, hidden... And then you use stuff, then you can kind of get away with it. Anyway, we got a couple of missions, so we can kind of get going here. Uh, I do want to... Let's see, where are my quests? Status. Data. Quests. Uh, speak to Colin Moriarty about Dad. So here's where we are in Megaton. And there's Springvale, there's Vault 101, there's the Super Duper Mart. So we'll place our marker there. But where... I guess, what was the quest? It was, uh... Colin Moriarty. Where the hell is that guy? Is that a guy in town here? The clinic? I don't want that. I think... I have a suspicion that it's elsewhere. Anyway, um, let's go do the super duper mark, market, mart, and kill some raiders, basically. Spoilers, there's going to be raiders there. We're going to have to kill them. Um, saloon. Hold on, let's go to the saloon before we do anything. Oh, God. Clinic. <laughs> We're just, like, jumping off of a big hill here. This town is not really... Designed all that effectively. The saloon is this way? How could this be? Where is this saloon? Oh, there it is. Way over there. This is like a weird Ewok village kind of place where like everything is like up crazy steps. Like the people who live here must have crazy calves because not only can you not drive here, you have to walk everywhere, but it's everywhere is uphill. It's uphill in every direction. It's unbelievable. Right, let's check out the saloon before we leave town. Hey, a kid. Hello. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Kid, did anyone tell you not to talk to strangers? Because that is like a lot of just information. You just blatantly volunteered. Seems dangerous for a kid to uh, just be like, oh, hello. I live at this address. These are the times I go to sleep. This is my family history. Goodbye now. It's like, just don't go giving that information away, kid. You live in the post-apocalypse. How can you not be more savvy? Hey, kid. I tell you. Um, oh, this guy looks like a bad guy. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. All right. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. I'm not. I find myself enthralled, though. Please continue. Finally, I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. Mm, you see. have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. All right, keep talking. The undetonated atomic bomb for which 
This town is named is still very much alive. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge, constructed for a singular purpose. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. So here's our first morally ambiguous choice, although not necessarily that ambiguous. Our choices are to detonate a nuclear bomb destroying an innocent town or not. Uh, for the interest of awesomeness, I'm totally going to do this. But first, let's try and haggle up some more cash. Is that the best you can oh. do? I'm afraid I'm not impressed. All right. You know what? I'll do it. Megaton will burn. Excellent. We're going full little finger on this one, where our motivations as a character are just going to be very confusing to anyone watching. Needs to be installed inside the bomb. We're going to blow up a city. We're going to help people in trouble. We're going to do all sorts of stuff. How about can I warn people? The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler future. All right. If you say so, if you if if it's if you're telling me it's okay to kill all these people, then that's that's fine. All right. Anyway, you can go around and uh, you know, hey, there's Billy Creel, the the guy who the kid lives with. We could learn his story, but honestly, he's about to die, so who cares? Um, so you could you could go around interacting with this town if you want. You know what? You can even I think buy an apartment or get an apartment here eventually. And it can be like one of your safe houses and you can uh, like stash your stuff there. All sorts of fun stuff. Instead, we're just going to blow this miserable cesspool up. Because that just sounds like a lot more fun. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, wait. We have to first attach this thing to the bomb. Alright. Activate, undetonate. You lack the explosive skills needed to interact with the bomb. Okay, you know what? That's okay. We're going to go out, we're going to go on a little bit of mission, we're going to level up, we're going to learn about bombs, and we're going to come back here, and then we're going to do it. You know, we, we don't want to rush this. We really want to savor our chaotic entry into the post-apocalypse and our decision to utterly decimate a, a city of, of innocent people. So we're not going to rush it, guys. So first, let's go learn about some combat. Let's kill some people. I think that would be a good way to, uh, you know, learn about... Uh, what it feels like to kill a man. We'll go kill some individuals before we come back and blow up this cesspool. Um, I thought that was alive again. Just, again, that same dead giant ant is uh, kind of gross. All right, let's... Uh, what do I want? Data, world map. So I want to go over there. What was over here? Springvale, Vault 101. I don't know what that is anyway all right so we want to go this way so there's a lot of wandering through the wastes in this game now eventually when you've been to places you can fast travel and that actually sort of opens the game up quite a bit um, but obviously when you're first exploring you kind of have to like just walk and there's a lot of atmosphere in this game of course I mean, you can sort of just hear in the background, like, the winds howling and stuff. Now, I actually... So, I'm a, I, I'm a huge uh, Fallout 3 fan, and just a Fallout fan in general. I was a huge, huge fan of Fallout 1. I, in fact, did not... Oh, what is this thing? Holy crap. It's running at me, though. Okay, we've gone into combat mode. Let's uh, shoot it in the torso for... Oh, God. It's not even going to kill it. Well, let's just do it. Boom! 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 Oh, God, still alive. We've angered it. Oh, we killed it. Jesus, a mole rat. Let's take its meat. Anyway, I uh, played the Fallout 1 demo way back in the day. Before I even really knew what Fallout was. Oh, God, another one. Um, Let's go for some headshots here. Bink, bink, bink. Okay, if they all hit, we're good. Uh, we crippled them. I think a bullet to the face would cripple you. Go down! Alright, what do you got on you? More meat. Take all the meat. I did not I did not plan to uh, hunt meat for today, but I guess that's what we're doing. Wait, why? 
I was trying to follow the radar, but it seems to be just pointing to the inside of the city. Okay. We're going the wrong way. I gotta sort this out. Oops. So I should be going directly behind. So I should be going this way. Okay, let's just climb out of, here, climb out of this gully here. I hear something following me. Oh my gosh, another one of these things. That's actually scary. I'm only gonna do headshots. So I don't want to waste the ammo. Boom! Oh, his head came off! Oh man, that was happening during the tutorial too. It's so awesome. We can also, I think we can search the head separately. <laughs> can search the head separately from the body. Alright, wh which direction am I going here? I want to be going to my right. Wait. Oh my god, another one! Back off, man. Oh man, look at it. His head is like right there. Boom! 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 Oh, come on! Die! 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 And there we go. So the way, by the way, this, uh, it's called VATS. Vault Assisted Targeting System. The, like, slow motion, the slow mo thing that I'm doing is in the bottom right, I have action points. And when I decide to queue up an attack, it uses up action points. And so you can only use as many uh, sort of slow-mo attacks as you have action points for. Man, I, I suck. I'm, I'm very ineffective against even these, like, rats. I know what I'm going to do when I actually encounter, like, people who want to kill me. Okay, I think I'm going in the right direction. Oh, let me sort of my bearings. I'll keep talking about Fallout. So... To the left a bit. Kind of that way. I think. Just take a few steps. See if we're going in the right direction. I think it's towards this like blank arrow. If you look in the bottom left of my radar. Right near the northeast. I think that's where we're going. Yeah. Alright. We figured it out. Is this thing dead? He is. Or he's sleeping and we stole his meat. Either way. Either way it works. Anyway, I, I played the Fallout 1 demo back before I even knew what Fallout was, and I was blown away by it. I think in the Fallout 1 demo, you only mess around, like, in one small town, and you can choose to, like, help the organized mob boss or the sheriff. And I played it multiple times. I tried, like, all the different ways that you could sort of interact with that town. I loved it. So I bought Fallout 1. As soon as it came out, I was hooked. Fallout 2, I love that one, too. I was excited... And sort of cautiously optimistic when they announce 3 here. Because 1 and 2 are both sort of isometric turn-based games. And Fallout 3 was going to be a first-person real-time game. With, like, bullet time stuff. But it was still, you know, it wasn't the same. So I was, I was cautious. And I think I can safely say that when Fallout 3 did eventually come out. I thought this game is amazing. I thought it was great. They did a, Bethesda did a great job of it. Um, now the only, I think the one thing where they actually changed the game in a way I didn't like is that in Fallout 1 and 2, oh god, what is that thing? A vicious dog. Stay away from me, vicious dog. Alright, we're gonna have to shoot him in the head. Nothing but headshots. Boom, 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 boom! You can't actually get a dog in this game. Like, you can get a dog to join you. Uh, and it's called Dog Meat, I think. That's uh, the same dog from Fallout 1. Uh, so he's in number 3 here. But that was not him. That was not him. Anyway, the, the one thing that Bethesda changed that I think made the game less good is they actually did take some of the moral ambiguity out. So, yes, we can blow up that... Like, we have the, we have the option to be totally evil if we want. But in Fallout 1 and 2, I felt like there were more times when it's sort of like you could help this group or you could help this group but kind of neither group was in the right and no matter who you helped somebody was getting hurt and it was sort of like very gray in that way there were by the way raiders in that parking lot i'm kind of going around the other way to avoid them um and in fallout 3 it kind of seems a bit more like there's good guys and bad guys kind of you know and another thing about fallout that i think bethesda changed oh is this a good guy a scavenger. Oh god, there's a raider. Okay. Nothing but headshots. Kill this punk. Boom! Oh, we just executed him. I think. Almost. Oh god, they have machine guns and stuff. 
Oh my god, this guy is not close to dying at all. Let's, uh, kill his buddy. Alright, shoot him. Okay, now we're gonna let our action points regenerate. So the thing with this game is that the VAT is the way to fight people. When you don't have VATs, it's actually really dangerous to fight. And I'm actually very weak right now, because I'm very early level. So I don't really want to be fighting people outside of VATs. But... Inside of VATs, it's fair game, buddy. Oh, 81% headshot! Boom! 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 Those shots are going in the eye. Don't tell me they didn't go in the eye. That guy got some eyeball bullets. As soon as he's dead, we'll take his gun, then we'll be... This is how you level up in Fallout. You steal stuff from other people. Usually bad guys. Sometimes good guys. Um, but yeah, so... Fallout 3 was a little more... Less morally ambiguous than Fallout's 1 and 2. Um, also... Actually, we don't even need that many. Oh, well, whatever. Boom! 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 Oh, he's still alive. Well, he has, like... One little tidbit of health. Alright, so the recording had just messed up there uh, for a second. I caught it real quick, though. So I just finished killing this guy. He needed, like, one more bullet uh, to put him down. Then I stole all his stuff. He had armor and an assault rifle, which we're going to equip in a second. And I wanted to go over and check out his buddy over here um, before. So this guy only had brass knuckles and a Chinese pistol. Whatever that means. Sawed-off shotgun, I will take that. And the scavenger, man. Look, his grenades, whiskey. Just gonna, like, literally take it all. He had a wood chipper. The guy carried a wood chipper with him. That is, uh, hilarious. Okay, items. First, let's go with, how about an assault rifle? Because I feel good about that. Then, let's see. Damage rating. So we wasted money on that armor. We didn't really need it. Now we instantly have better armor. Um, all right, we're going to go with that. All right, there we go, man. Assault rifle. You guys will see this in action. It's pretty sweet. Um, but anyway, like I was saying about Fallout, is like Fallout 3 here, it's, it's good. And it is like surprisingly dark and everything. But interestingly, I think Fallout 1 was actually like darker. Like in Fallout 1... First of all, the, the world felt way more empty. Like, this this looks pretty empty, but Fallout 1 was even more empty and bleak. And, like, the background noises were even scarier. Like, you heard people screaming in the distance, but you couldn't tell if it was, like, the wind or someone actually screaming. So it's like, there's some really dark stuff in just the ambiance of Fallout 1. Um, Fallout 2, actually, the world got bigger, and my complaint with that game is similar to this one, where it felt more populated, so it was less isolating and terrifying um but the other thing about fallout one is that like you could kill kids there was like kid murder i mean you could you could have sex with people like it was like an adult game you know this game still has drugs and murder and blowing people's heads off and all that but you can't kill kids anymore and i don't i think there's nothing sort of adult like there's no sort of sexual content or anything like that um and again not that my games like need it but it did make Fallout 1 feel like a very different game back when it came out. Like, you know, Fallout 3 here feels a little bit more PG, which is shocking to say in a game where you could literally shoot someone's head off. Um, but it did. There is a female over there. You're dead, meat sack. Let's lure her over here. When she comes over... So, the thing is, you have higher percentages to hit the closer you are to someone. Oh god, she's a shotgun. So we're gonna do three shots to the face. Boom! Oh god! Oh! Oh! There's a lot more than three shots! Oh, we just blew her brains out! Um... Oh, and there's other people there. Oh god. Oh my god. I actually really need health. Uh, hold on. Let's go to my miscellaneous spork. Where is my stim packs? Radax, Nuka Cola, stim pack, stim pack. Uh, we'll only use two. I don't want to use too many. Oh god, it is so dark. It is like hard to see what's going on. 
Oh god. Alright. This guy's running at me with a stick. But I feel like she's got a gun, so she has to die. And then we'll reevaluate from there. Boom! Boom! Oh man! She's still alive! Oh god. I might be dead I might be dead here. Oh, I did not plan this well. Oh, there's there's so many of them. There's so many Oh, we're out of bullets. Oh, we're totally dead. I hope this game auto saved. Oh god. Can we flee? Hold on. You know what? Hope is not lost. Let's equip our trusty pistol. Oh god. <laughs> it's going to shoot that guy right in the face. Okay, we died. It happens. It happens people in the in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Sometimes things just get you. Uh, but as a modern game, there are checkpoints and stuff like that, so we're good. Let's try sneaking. Let's go through this far more sneakily. There was, wasn't there someone like right over here? Ow. That did not hit me, but oh. Oh, there's a person here. We caught him peeing. Headshots! <laughs> He's never gonna pee again. We just blowed his brains out all over the the bathroom floor. All right. We have 28 shots left. The trick is to lure them over to you, I think. Uh, buff out. Oh, that's a drug. Hold on. Man, it's so dark in here. Oh, there she is. Okay, let's uh, kill her and then we need some... Uh... Oh, man. Oh! Did we kill her? She's still alive. Oh, God. Okay, we definitely need some health. We also need a different weapon. Let's try... How about the sawed-off shotgun? I feel like that will be good. I'm going to use two med packs. Crap, I hate, I, we're like blowing through med packs so quickly. I don't like that. Oh, oh, there she is. How about a sawed off to the face? Boom! Oh, eat that. <laughs> we just fed her breakfast and it was gun. She had a hunting rifle, eh? It's probably good at a distance. Okay, is there anyone else? Anyone else? There were drugs in here. I kind of want to take them. Buff out. So here, let's have a look at the drugs real quick. Well, let, let's examine what kind of drugs you can actually do in this game. Psycho gives you 25% more damage. Uh, Mentats make you smarter. So it's like a smart drug. That's radiation resistance. Jet was the big uh, plot point in Fallout 2. Jet was like the big thing. That uh, gives you more action points. Buff out. Uh, makes you stronger. These things are all temporary. But uh, still. And there's dog meat, of course. can eat some random dog meat if we want. Not going to cook it. Just going to eat it straight and raw. Uh, also, I think I'm lost in the bathroom right now. How the hell did I get in here and how do I leave? Oh, there's the exit. Man, it is so dark in here. It's like literally adventuring through a cave. Look at all the bodies that the raiders have like strung up. These are like not good people. It's Oh, there's a dude. Okay, there's two dudes. Or she's a dudette. So a female dude and a male dude. So this guy... Boy, one shot to the face would kill him. Whoa! Oh, God, we got the 50-50. We only had a 49% chance and we made it happen. Ow, ow. Let's see if we can do the same to her. Oh, this is... Come on, man. That's a, that's a kill shot right there. Oh, did we miss? Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay, hold on. Let's switch to grenades. Frag grenade. And... Throw it at her. 89% chance of frag, frag grenading her. Kaboom! Oh, she just blew up! Yeah! Okay, we got, we got more where that come from! You want to do this? I will do this. I will kill you all. Where did her body even go? Um, hold on. We have a flashlight, I think. Where did her body go? 
So if you can't find the bodies, you can't loot it. Um, oh, we can just sleep there. We can have a nice power nap after that. Okay, take that. Seriously, where? Oh, I'm over encumbered. So you can carry more than your like maximum carry amount, but if you do that, oops, then you can't walk. I think we literally blew her to pieces. There's her leg. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna continue searching ammo box, a mine box. Ooh, frag mines. Anything else? Got okay. I gotta dump some stuff here, guys. So, uh, these things weigh the most, so we're just going to drop anything that's garbage. Uh, garbage, 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 garbage. That's enough. All right. Um, there's a locked door here and a terminal. Let's try and... Oh, a science skill of 25. Lockpick skill of 50. Okay, we, we, we got to do some leveling here. We need explosives at 25... And locks, oh man. Science and lock picking at 25, all right. That's our goal. Our goal is to uh, fix some of that. And I think, oh, there's enemies nearby. I was gonna say, we can take a power nap in this grotesquely bloody bed if we want. Uh, let's go ahead and use some aid. So, we're just blowing through our stim packs. And we're gonna have the ultimate aid, which is a save point. Just in case, just in case, just in case we screw up. New save, new save game. I do like in this game how you can just save whenever you want. They uh, are not stingy about you saving. Oh look, there's a part of her. It looks like a part of her brain. All right, anything else going on over here? Cigarettes. Nothing, nothing. I hear a guy. Oh, super duper pharmacy key. Kick ass. Who's talking? Bottle cap mine. Ooh, grenades. Oh, God. Okay, you want to play? We will play. I have an assault rifle. And I have your face. Here you go, buddy. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, critical strike. He's done. Pool cue and blade master armor. Oh, well, his armor sucks. Let's go ahead and reload our gun. Anything else around here? We might have now cleared out. Uh, bottle cap mine. I'll take the conductor. Why not? Yeah, maybe we can now take a nap. Let's see. Let's test out this theory. The blood is soaked mattress. <laughs> also, I love how in, in this game you can just select how long you want to sleep. Like, imagine you could do this in real life. I'm just going to sleep for 24 hours. I'm going to sleep for exactly 8 hours. Let's sleep, let's sleep for 8 hours. And time just ticks away. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because you heal up. So sleep is the free way to heal. Um... It also auto saves when you sleep, so it's very handy. Um, now, what is this? Ooh, ammo, just lying about. Grenades, more grenades. That grenade, by the way, saved me. That raider woman was actually tougher than I thought. Okay, so now, I oh, would get to use the key if we want. Oh well, whatever. Uh, anything. Nothing. A leather belt. I do not want it. Whoops. Uh, anything? No. No. I like when you bring up the Pip Boy, like uh, this thing here. Sort of reminds me of like Goldeneye bringing up the uh, watch. Uh, the Pip Boy, by the way, is like one of the most iconic and coolest things about Fallout. And I mean, look, like the little Monopoly guy they have, who like shows off all the different like things. Like, he, he is iconic unto himself and totally awesome. I love the Pip-Boy. He's so great. What is this? Activate automated maintenance. Let's do it. Okay, hacking. Here, so hacking and lockpicking are two of the funnest things in this game. 
the way hacking works, it's like this old school like DOS prompt thing. And you have to try, just try to find words. So see how there's like words here. And when you pick a word, you're told how many of the letters you have that match. So you have to try a couple of words and you see what letters match up. And then you try to look, you try to make guesses about what letters are right and what are wrong. So for instance, if we start with dared, two of the five letters in dared are right. But there's five letters, so you have no idea which ones. But I would bet that it's ED is my guess. So if I pick, let's see, which one ends in ED? Or maybe it's not. So let's go with something different. Okay, so races would test the idea that it's the A and the E in dared that were right. Races, only one of the letters is right. So it's probably the E and the D is my guess. I mean, it could be the A. Um, so, let's build up on this. Or it could be the R and the E. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, that was right. It was the R and the E, and agree was the right one. Boom, we just hacked the terminal. I, it's like such a simple, like, little mini game, but it makes you feel like you're a hacker, you know, like you're Neo or something like that. Um, anyway, we just hacked the computer. We're awesome. Um, I think it, like, opens up this robot, yeah. So now he'll go do stuff. We should probably follow him. I just want to finish grabbing all this ammo. There's Nuka-Cola's over here. All right, let's see what he does. Like, look at this. He's, he's like a robot from, like, Lost in Space. You know? It's, like, totally 1950s aesthetic. Where are you going, robot man? What are you going to do? Oh look, there's a there's a dude running around over there. Look at this. Target identified. Oh, he's killing him. <laughs> Protectatron, defend yourself. Oh god, he killed He killed the Protectatron! You jerk. I thought the robot was totally gonna kill him. I wanted to see him in action. I missed all those. Die! Oh man, shoot. Attacking guys outside of the uh, slow-mo thing sucks. L like, I unloaded a whole clip on that guy. did, like, no damage. Man, that also did no damage. What is with this guy? He's a super raider! Die! I need, like, a melee weapon or something. Okay, here we go. Shoot him right in the face. There you go. There you go, we shot your freaking- He had a sword! Guys, who who attacks a person with a sword? Chinese officer's sword. I'll take it. But it's weird that you had that, my friend. Oh, and now I'm over-encumbered. So we have to dump all the armor. Armor is the thing that always weighs the most. It is that- it's, it's fairly valuable, though. So you don't necessarily want to dump it unless you have to. Protect a draw and you suck! I don't want your scrap metal. Your worthless scrap. I'm, I'm shocked that I still can't hack anything. Alright, is there anything left to explore? What was our quest even here? Find medicine in the Super Duper Mart. Find food in the Super Duper Mart. Okay, that's what we're working on right now. Food and medicine. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's nothing over here. Is there anything over here? I found, like, colas. Does that work? Also, even if I find food in here, this is for her book. But, like... Oh, God. Um, this guy is a bad guy. Hold on. Let's quit my hunting rifle. Go in here. Where's my hunting rifle? We'll hunt him like he's... Like he's in-season buck. Hmm. How about that? I have low chances of hitting him. Oh, there's one. Shot right to the gut. We'll let our action points regenerate. Let him get a little scared. Oh, where is he running? All right, well, if he comes back, we'll kill him. Um, anyway, there was a thing down here. 25. God damn it. I want to level up so bad. How, where am I in terms of level? 
status. Oh yeah, you, your arms and stuff can get crippled in this game. It's kind of hilarious. So lock picking needs to go up by five. Science needs to go up by four. And explosives. Needs to go up by ten. And that's the priority, so I can blow up the... The, you know, megaton. Okay. Where'd this jerk run to? There he is. Hey, milk bottle. Does that count as food? Oh, it's just the bottle. Drugs? No drugs. Where did this guy run to? Oh, God. All right. Just gonna do a couple of torso shots here. Boom! Oh, I think part of him fell off. It was dark. It was hard to see. There's another guy there, though. Oh, wow. Where did he go? These guys keep, like, popping out of nowhere, doing some damage and running away. Oh, God. Jerk. All right, whatever. 41%? Let's do this. Miss! Miss! And... Uh, I think I hit him. Oh, but he got me, too. All right, we each got each other once. It's a draw. How about we both go our separate ways and never speak of this again? No? You want to keep fighting me? You want to keep fighting me? 82%, man. That's double what it was last time. I crippled your torso. And you're dead. That's the ultimate crippling. Killing. I killed him to death. Chinese pistol. Nah. Gotta, gotta sell all this stuff eventually, but still. Alright, you know what? We're so injured, we need another nap. All this killing's making me very sleepy. Gonna go back over here and take a quick little power nap. Oh god. Who's shooting at me? They're onto my sleepy spot. Oh, you jerk. 59%? Do it. Miss! Miss! Hit! Uh, I, I'm hitting like two out of, or one out of three. It's better than zero out of three. Where'd that guy go? Don't take my bed. This grotesque, disgusting bed where someone blew up on it. I need to sleep there in a second. Oh, there he is. He's hiding. I could shoot the Chinese pistol? What? There's a 3% chance of shooting his Chinese pistol. How about we shoot him in the arm? Yeah, buddy. 56% chance. Oh, there you go. We shot him in the arm to death. His arm was so injured, he just couldn't take it. He just died. Wait, was that him? No, this is him. There's so many bodies, I don't know which one came from what guy. I'm like, is that the guy I killed? No, I killed him before. All right, now, time for a quick eight-hour snooze. All this kill killing and sleeping. It's all I do. I have now slept in this supermarket for 16 hours. Haven't eaten a single thing. My guy does not get hungry in the traditional sense. Uh, he's mostly interested in killing and sleeping. They all seem to be coming out of here or something like that. Oh, no, wait. That's, that's the entrance. Okay, I have not been over here, though. Intercom? Anything? Wait, what is this? Dirty water. Yum! <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. Food? <gasps> we found food! Salisbury steak! Part one complete! Metal box... I kind of want to find the drugs that she wanted, too. Like, we've cleared this place out. Metal box... It's probably in another part, though. Oh, stim packs! We need those. What's this? A laser pistol? Hold up, sir. Two laser pistols? I'm over encumbered. Don't you worry. I'll drop whatever I need to to keep these laser pistols. Hold up. Okay. Um, let's just start dropping armor. 
Uh, so anything we're not wearing. Now, laser pistols. Oh man, that's awesome. Probably using it right now is a bad idea. Ooh, something we can lockpick. So here's the cool thing about lockpicking, it's like a mini game. You have to like basically align a bobby pin and then turn the lock and oh, we opened it. I actually didn't have to turn the bobby pin at all there, but in theory, you could. Oh yes, we leveled up. All right, 16 skill points. Do we have enough? First of all, high priority, because we got to blow up Megaton explosives. Then we can get science up. Um, uh, but we can't get lock picking up too. That's a bummer. We're so close. Well, you know what? You've seen a hack. I like hacking more than lock picking, but you've seen a hack. I'm going to put my skills in lock picking for you guys. For you guys. All right, continue. Now you get to choose a perk. So just like your dad, you're trying to intellectuals. Um, actually, that could be interesting. Then I don't need anything in science. Gun nuts, tense training, swift learner. Um, ooh, wait, little leaguer. That gives me five explosive points. And thief. <laughs> you gain immediate bonus of five to sneak and lockpick. I like being a thief, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, turn this back down, bump up the science, and now we will do thief. Now, we should, in theory, be at the level we need to to pick locks, hack terminals, and blow up a, an innocent city. So we are good. Now, I really want to see this laser gun in action. So see where it says CND at the bottom? That's the condition of the gun. And this gun is not in good condition. So basically, you can only use it a few times before, it, before it's done. But since we do have it, I do kind of want to show it off to you guys. But like, where would one find drugs? Oh, you know what? We could go and try and hack this terminal. I thought this terminal just opened the locked door behind us, but it seems to be separate. This terminal here, we never hacked it. Easy. All right, time to hack. You're hacking hats on, people. Oh, so this one's harder. See how it's, it's more words? So let's try heading. Only one letter was correct. So probably... Probably edding is wrong, is my guess. Well, it could be anything, really. It's just a wild guess. How about husband? Three of seven, correct. Okay, we gotta use, we gotta like eliminate some of these. Husband. So we gotta find a word that has three letters in common with husband, but virtually nothing in common with heading. But there's one common letter. So it can't, so okay, so it can't be meaning and it can't be playing because those have too many letters in common with heading. Persona has nothing in common with husband, so it can't be that. Imagine, nothing in common with husband, so it can't be that. Praised, uh, nothing in common with husband. Oh, it has a D. It could be praised. Let's try that. Ah, one of seven correct. Okay. If we do it one more time, we fail. We're locked out. Hmm. Staying. So praised and heading only had one letter correct. What letter do they have in common? They might not even have a letter in common. Husband had three. This is really tricky. Command. Command has... Some letters in common with husband. Has the N. And praised. Has the D. Alright. Here we go. Command. Oh, it was, it was correct. It was correct. I deduced it out. That's my lead hacking skills, people. I was kind of scared that would totally fail. Um, Alright. Disengage the lock. That does not look like it really did anything, though. Um, oh, there's a toy car, though. 
Um, I think all that did was unlock this door here, <laughs> which we already had a key for. So, darts. I want some darts. Is there anything we can do in here? No, that's just the robot terminal. There's a nuka coal that we left there. Not super important. Knife, scissors. Okay. Well, you know what? We we, we got the we got the food. I'm willing to let the drugs go. We got the food. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing down here. There's no like locked door or anything like that. There was like a locked box somewhere around here. Like here we go. Alright, we can go ahead and do this. Oh, nope. So it's this, when when there's like pressure against the bobby pin, that's when it's going to break if you keep going. So you have to, kind of have to have like a sensitive touch. I always really like that lock picking mini game because it feels very like it's like a good representation of lock picking. I know it's not accurate, um, but it uh, it it makes you sort of feel a little bit like you're picking a lock. If that makes any sense. Before we get out of here. So we have oops, been to all corners of this place, except for the left corner. So let's go over there, forward and to the left. Maybe there's drugs over there. Probably not. I don't know where they're hiding the drugs in this place, but yeah, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Nothing. All right, well, we had a pretty good run, I'd say. And in fact, we can probably even try the fast travel to get back to uh, Megaton. We, we came, we saw, we killed some people. It was great. And now we get to bask in the glory of our riches. Which I wonder what she's going to give us for doing all of that. Probably not anything that's nearly worth our time, but still. We did it for the experience of it. You know, RPG people are kind of like... Uh, you know how they say like millennials nowadays would rather spend money on an experience than a thing? So it's like they'll spend money on vacations before they'll like buy other things. I feel like that's what RPG players are for. You know, we're not in it for the for the, the loot. We're in it for the experience. We really, our, our whole thing is gaining experience. So, all right. Uh, let's see, zoom out. And Megaton. Travel. Do you want to travel to Megaton? Yes. Boom, fast travel, which is basically just a loading screen. <laughs> I wish they did something more creative on loading screens sometimes, you know, like, um, I think Namco holds the patent for having mini games on loading screens, but that is really like a crime. I feel like all games should have mini games on their load screens because why not? Oh man, the, the darkness here is really notable. And my flashlight is so paltry, it does like nothing. Okay, so we're going up here. All right, so what do, what do we think she's going to give us for actually clearing out that supermarket? My guess is... I don't even know what I would guess. My guess is like next to nothing. All right, crater side supply, what do you got? And actually, it will make me feel better about blowing up this city if she does give me nothing. Billy, what's up, dude? <laughs> he looked really mad at us. Moira! So, how's the scabbing been? It's been good. I checked out the Super Duper Mart, but nothing's there. Really? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Are we just straight up lied? I guess it was an obvious place for people to get food. Still, good work checking it out. You've lost karma. So another cool thing about this game is you can... Oh, we got three iguana bits? That is terrible. I was expecting at least some money. Um, so you get karma in this game for doing good and bad things, so you can slowly lean towards being a good person or a bad person. So we, uh, have just taken our first step onto being an evil person. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Uh, what? So we have to travel through a minefield or learn about radiation. Um, radiation, well, please. That's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books. But I never seem to get a live example, so I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, you're a peach. <laughs> now, I don't know why I'm doing this all for her. For basic sickness, but if you can get six hundred, just make sure you can get back here. 
Okay. Tell you what. Um, I have a plan. She's so interested in radiation. Why would I radiate myself? Hey, what's this guy doing here? I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with you or her. Yeah? Well, what if I shoot you in the face right now? Anyway, she wants to learn about radiation so hard. I'm going to show her radiation firsthand. Um, and it's called blowing her up. So where... Tenpenny Tower. That's where we're going to try and go. We're going to work our way to Tenpenny Tower. And in the way, we'll, we'll kill, we'll learn, we'll love, we'll become better people. And then we'll blow up this town as our ultimate uh, final hoorah! Our glory. Boink. Um, by the way, the VAT system here, this like system for like slowing down time and stuff, it's it's very cool. And Fallout 1 uh, and 2, because it was a turn-based game, you could obviously do called shots and stuff like that as well. That was a big part of the game. But uh, the way they implemented it here in Fallout 3, it's sort of like bullet time, where like you slow time down and you take like a, a targeted shot, and it like shows you kind of like a you know like a moving camera and stuff. All of that, you know where the developers got the idea for that? They uh, got it from the crash mode of Burnout. You know the Burnout games for Xbox where, like, the whole point of the game is to, like, crash your opponents and stuff? There's, like, a, a crash mode when, as soon as you start to crash, and you can, like, move your wreck into the way of other players. And they actually took inspiration from that to develop, you know, uh, there you go, place marker, uh, move it. Uh, they actually took inspiration from that. So that, that's actually kind of cool. Sort of like how developers are like playing other people's games and getting ideas and stuff. Hey, be more careful. Um, let's see what these guys are doing though. I, th I think we can... Let's My see. caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the... My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of... So I think, uh, okay, I was going to say, I, I think you could travel with this guy as like a caravan guard. I know in Fallout 1, you can get work as a caravan guard. And so like you guard a caravan through its travels, but in at the same time, it also like transports you across the map. So it's actually like a safe way to travel, it's like working as a mercenary. Um, Canterbury Commons, okay, that's in the opposite direction of where we're going. So we're not going to see that today. But it's actually, you know, not a huge world to explore, like when you really look at it but anyway we're off in the middle of the night i'm sure this is fine traveling and pitch black i got my handy laser pistol here um but we're off to finally put an end to the treacherous town of megaton oh look the stars are coming out very cool game very cool free roaming game just go wherever you want kill whoever you want be whoever you want um, I played the I played the hell out of this game back in the day. Okay, here we're gonna laser pistol this thing. Boink, boink, boink. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Well, that sucks. We didn't even really get to see it. Let's do it again. Let's do its torso this time. We like singed it. <laughs> I don't know if the laser pistol looks all that cool to you guys. The uh, laser rifle, I remember, is a much bigger deal. I think that's one of my favorite weapons in the game. So I played the heck out of this game back in the day, guys. And when I turned on my Xbox here, um, I didn't see any of my save games. So, like, if you do actually decide to pop over to Patreon to watch, like, the full extended full hour of tutorial. Uh, what is happening right now? I'm kind of, like, getting lost in the mountains. Um... I did not find any of my save games when I turned my Xbox on. I thought, oh man, I deleted it, or I don't know what the hell happened. But I realized before today's video that I was just logged in with the wrong profile. So I switched profiles and uh, all my save games are there. So actually, we're going to have a little bonus at the end of today's video, which is where I load up a character who's all maxed out, who's got like tons of stuff, and we'll just uh, have a few moments of hilarity with that person. But uh, right now, I cannot see where I'm going. Turn my light on. This is probably <laughs> probably a poor time to travel is in the middle of the night. Uh, what time is it? Is there any way to see that? Like a clock? This this thing has everything. I don't think it has a clock. Data, notes. 
Oh, it's uh, 20. That's what? Uh, 8 o'clock? Oh, God, it's only 8? We have a lot of walking in the dark to do. You know what? Instead of watching me walk through the wasteland in the middle of the night, how about we check out a character who's had 36 hours of gameplay built up on them? And, of course... You know, Ether J is continuing to walk through the darkness. Not too much is happening with him. We'll come back to him, but let's check out what can be in the world of Fallout 3. Alright, there seems to be a super mutant. I think this guy's on my team, actually. I'm vaguely remembering now. Alright, so here I am with some kind of giant mega cannon and a squad of, uh, well, not a squad, more like a single companion, a giant super mutant named Fox. And we're going to go off and cause some sh**. Alright, we got a lot of places to choose from. We got to find a place that has some bad guys to kill. Computers Act 51, Pants Exploded 0. We haven't had any blowouts in our undies. That's probably a good thing. Alright, this guy looks like he wants some. Or this girl, I guess I should say. 92% chance for a headshot with my Mega Canyon. Oh! <laughs> Incinerated! <laughs> what kind of gun is this? Anyone else? Oh, this guy wants them too. Hey, wait, let's let my mutant buddy kill him. He has some kind of, like, minigun laser pistol. Hey, other people are shooting at me. Alright, go ahead and headshot- Oh, God! <laughs> Just a flash of white light and he's gone! He is gone! Oh, and that guy's dead too. Alright, we need to try some other guns here. I have an alien blaster, which you actually get from finding a, a crashed UFO uh, ship. So here it is. I'm sure that causes some crazy destruction. You could probably melt people pretty easily. Oh, there's somebody who wants to be melted. Let's just do a torso shot. Oh, <laughs> incinerated. We sent him back in time. That's awesome. All right, what else we got? Combat shotgun, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's kind of interesting, the Fat Man. It fires a small nuclear uh, bomb, like a little tactical nuke. Um, but the guy died before we could actually blow him up. Don't worry, we'll find some more. I wonder if Ether J is still walking through the nighttime wasteland. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, what the hell's attacking me? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a bug. A crazy bug. A bloat fly. Oh, we incinerated it. We literally turned it into dust. Damn. Bloat fly. Its meat is somehow still in there. And tenderized, cooked to perfection. Oh, there's somebody. You ready for a tactical nuke, sweetheart? Oh, oh! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, we never planted the device in Megaton. We're going to Tenpenny Tower. We never planted the bomb. Son of a bitch. We have to go back. <laughs> oh man, there's not even going to be anything to bury there. Her and all her loved ones, they'll just have to grieve a portrait. Um, combat shotgun is pretty good actually, as well. Oh god, who did that? Oh. So I combat shotgun this guy. Oh man, my buddy killed him. Okay, look dude, you gotta stop killing people. You wait here. You're just too effective in combat. I, I want to be the one killing all these people. And there's no one left to kill. So uh, the, the side quest that we're actually going to complete uh, was actually not in the Japanese version of this game. You can imagine the Japanese are a little sensitive about uh, explosions, nuclear explosions. So they actually took the whole quest out of the game. Um, and as I already said, this game was also banned in India because it depicted two-headed cattle. You know, you hear about, like, Rockstar's games getting banned and stuff because they're, like, too explicit and too hardcore, but a game being banned because it has cows with two heads is uh, kind of amusing. You know, let's go plant this bomb and blow up this cesspool, man. Blow it to bits. Uh, rig the bomb to explode. You successfully insert the fusion pulse charge. The bomb is now ready to explode. wonder if we can sleep until daytime. Like, since we're here... Steel darts... Talk to Leo. Where does a person sleep in this town is what I want to know. Is there an inn of some kind? If 
you want to fight mutants, you go to Washington, D.C. Reveal yourselves, monsters. There's one already. Oh, I'm melting them. <laughs> oh, he gets fried. Oh man, an empty house requires a key. I think you only get it when uh, the town like approves of you. Again, so if you're a good guy to this town, they will like be all nice to you. They'll give you a house. You can like stash your, your stuff there. Okay, we've broken into some guy's house. I don't want to steal anything. I just want to sleep. And I'm, uh, you cannot sleep in an owned bed. <laughs> what? Nobody's here. He'll never know. Just a quick power nap. I'm, ad I'm addicted to sleep. I'm like, I just need a quick five. I could steal his milk bottle if I wanted. Um, that would make me a criminal. Oh my god. Look how dark it is. Why couldn't I sleep in that guy's bed? It's bullshit. Also, I couldn't, I don't know if you could see, but I'm in some pretty awesome, uh, battle armor here. Let's go ahead and melt this guy, too. Nothing but torso shots. See, I'm in, like, really ratted up armor. Like, sci-fi stuff, man. Alright, he's still alive. We need something bigger. Maybe Lucy West will let me sleep with her. Honestly, it's <laughs> nothing sexual. I just really need to get some sleep. How about a missile launcher? All right, come here, muty. How about a missile to the torso? Oh, we missed! No. Can't do it. She has two beds in her house. Can't sleep in either of them. Ridiculous. What are all these people doing at night? Why is no one in their bed? Okay, well, let's try again. All right, muty. One more. 59% chance. Oh, we missed again! Uh, missile launcher sucks. I've also become lost in the darkness, so this that's not good. What's a plasma rifle? Oh, <laughs> I think we killed his weapon because he ran up to us like he wanted to uh, to punch us. All right, the plasma rifle is actually pretty good. Maybe this is my favorite gun. There's a Washington Monument. I guess we're just doing this in the dark. Wish I could see what I was doing. Oh God, I'm walking into a rock wall. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Give me your meat. We also have power fists. In case you feel like punching someone real bad. It's a raider. Take a few shots at him. Boom. Missed. Missed. Oh! Right to the heart. <laughs> oh, God. Holy crap. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Uh, let's cripple her, I guess. Oh, we're on fire. I wish I could run. Oh, there's a muty with a uh, rocket launcher. What can we do to him? Boo! <laughs> I feel like he's the kind of guy who would appreciate a fat man. Here you go, muty. We have a very low chance of success here. The headshot is the highest chance. Oh no, the arm or the missile launcher. All right, let's shoot shoot a nuke to his arm. How about that? <laughs> God. Oh, we missed. Oh, how did he survive that? 90%. That's what I was waiting for. Boom! Oh, Red just exploded right in front of us. Is he alerted? Is he alerted to our presence? Yeah, he he did. Let's just nuke this guy. Here you go, buddy. I missed, but I don't care. <laughs> Get you still. There's somebody else right over there. I can see like a red on my radar. It's gonna try and avoid the combat, to be honest. Not that I don't like killing a gang of post-apocalyptic uh, women, but vicious dog, eh? Oh, that did one little bar of damage. Oh, I have no ammo left. Uh, go! Killed him anyway. His buddy's com com coming running out. Oh, it's a super sledgehammer. And this. Oh, somebody's sh laser shooting the dog. A probe is coming to my defense. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, random probe. Are we good? We're good. The Enclave is kind of like the extension of the Brotherhood of Steel from uh, the original Fallout. 
Man, that really, like, saved my hide. I think this is a science building you can infiltrate. And you can, like, raid, and there's raiders and stuff walking around there. So there's lots to explore in this game. There's, like, abandoned buildings. There's abandoned vaults. There's uh, towns and stuff you can find and explore. All sorts of cool stuff. We really want to get to this Ten Penny Tower, though. It's, like, my whole mission in life. Taking this, like, very dangerous night walk. I'm gonna punch you in bullet time. Punch! Punch! The mutant master, eh? Just gonna continue to punch him here. This is less exciting than blowing him up with a nuke. Let's just do a... Too bad he can't aim these. Do, like, a headshot. Boom! We crushed all the bones in his body. Uh, anyway, we should get back to the uh, main quest in the darkness over there. You guys have seen some advanced weapons. It's what awaits you in Fallout. Back to the main attraction. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you know, one thing I guess we haven't talked about is sort of the history of the Fallout series. You know, Fallout 1 and 2 were both done by Interplay. I think they were fairly successful. But as I already mentioned, Interplay was sort of mismanaged slash went bankrupt. I, I forget the exact details. Um, but basically, when Interplay went under, Fallout 3 was actually in development. Uh, the code name I think, was Van Buren. And um, when the Fallout license was sold to Bethesda, they decided to basically abandon everything that the Fallout team had been working on. Interestingly, I think Fallout New Vegas... Um, was a sort of side sequel to this game. It wasn't Fallout 4, but it was Fallout 3's engine, but a totally different game. And I think that that game was basically what Fallout 3 was originally going to be. Because I think the team that worked on Fallout 3 formed the team that worked on Fallout New Vegas. Anyway, so Fallout 3 kind of lives on in a weird way. Um, the original Fallout 3, anyway. Um, but am I getting shot at or something? Yeah, something is attacking me. I was like, I hear something. There's like things flickering past me. What the? There's another one of these things. Just die already. There we go. I think we killed it. Uh, gun mechanics outside of the VAT system, by the way, kind of suck in this game. Uh, that's actually one thing. If you have unlimited VAT, like this, this slow-mo stuff, then combat is awesome. But when you run out of it, combat actually kind of sucks. Um, and I'm actually quite injured, so I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of a stim pack here. And then we're going to shoot this dog right in the face. Down, doggy! Bloody mess. Yeah, let's take his meat. We're not eating. I don't know why we want all this animal meat, but we just want it. We just keep taking it. Um, but anyway, Bethesda was known for making games like Elder Scrolls and stuff. Um... And I remember the license deal they worked out with Interplay was like a really weird deal. It was something where like Interplay still had the rights to make an MMO version of Fallout, but they only had so much time. And if they didn't do it, then Bethesda would get the full license. And Interplay didn't make, never made a Fallout MMO, but they claimed they were working on it. And they like sued Bethesda and Bethesda sued them. And they both went to court and this long drawn out complicated thing basically ended. And finally Bethesda has the total rights to Fallout. And I think they've been pretty good uh, sort of, uh, you know, shepherds of the Fallout. Here's a burnt out house of the Fallout franchise since they got the rights. Um, and I, like, I actually have never played Fallout 4 and there's Fallout 76, which is that is that an MMO? So maybe the Fallout MMO finally did happen. Honestly, like I'm so behind. I don't even know. Here's a tower, by the way, that we've been trying to get to. And uh, yeah. Uh, one day I want to play Fallout 4. It looks good. I just haven't gotten around to it. I know I remember there was criticisms like the dialogue options were less complex. And Fallout 3, I mean, you saw already, we could barter with people. We could lie to them. Like, there is some sort of new, there, there is nuance in what you can do with the dialogue in Fallout 3. And it's pretty fun. They do a good job of giving you dialogue options that open up new story avenues, which I've always really liked about Fallout. Fallout 1 did that. Fallout 2 did that. And Fallout 3 is continuing to do it. Um, you've discovered several locations. You can travel with your Pip-Boy. Cool. All right, Ten Penny Tower. You guys ready to wipe Megaton off the 
face of the earth. Times do we have to go through this? Let's try and pickpocket this guy. He is nothing of value. Oh, look at him. He's a ghoul. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? I mean, you clearly are a zombie, dude. <laughs> last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me? I'm hey, really not in the mood, dude. So leave me alone. Stop. Stop taking over the speaker. I've got to get in here. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn... I'm not a ghoul, man. What? Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> you are currently trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny. Um, I'm here to see Mr. Burke. You? Why didn't you say so? All right. Yeah, let me in. Hey, dude, you can come in now. They open the gates. Dude, he's just walking away. What? I'm really not in the mood. All right. He does not want to come in. I offered. We opened the gates for him. What up? Hey. What up? Okay, let's go find this guy and uh, do this. Boom, Ten Penny Tower. Yeah, so Fallout has kind of an interesting development history. Actually, funnily enough, Fallout itself was a spiritual successor to a, game, a previous game called Wasteland. So even though Fallout 1 was like its own thing, it kind of was like an unofficial sequel to a game that existed much earlier called Wasteland, where it's a similar idea. You roam around the post-apocalyptic waste after a nuclear war. You were rangers... And you had to, like, uh, you could do, like, evil things and stuff. Um, I forget where to go here. I'm just going to wander around till we find out where to go. Open the door. Where am I supposed to go here? But, yeah. Interesting, interesting development history of Fallout. And, you know, in the end, we got a great game. We got a great game. All right. Tenpenny Suites. Door. Where am I going? Hey, look, somebody's sleeping. Is she dead? Hi. <laughs> Not creepy at all? Just went and woke her oh, up? Well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted in oh. the near future. Maybe there is adult stuff in this, uh, in this game. Me too. Especially rich, fine young men. Mm. Okay. Listen, New mission. Like we need bottle yourself. caps. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here after all. You are exactly the kind of man we need around here. <laughs> Chief Gustavo and his pack of goons aren't doing their job. All right. Are you going to do something about the pro? Um. How about. Sure. You're something else. Not like these other losers. Alright. Thank you. Interesting. Now she's just going back to... Sl oh. That was quite the, uh... <laughs> quite the show she just gave us. Just going back to sleep now. Alright. Well, enjoy your evening. Just gonna continue to wander around your house. Leave your front door open if that's okay. So other people can just wander in. Um, alright. Where do we go? Ah, here we go. The penthouse suites. Right, that's where we gotta go. <laughs> Not just bursting into a uh, random tenant's building. So this is kind of like an abandoned hotel that uh, yes. uh, somehow held up. You. He's waiting for you on the balcony. Okay. Um, thanks. Uh, yeah, and so this is sort of like a hotel that uh, stood up and now there's like a bunch of rich people sort of living a very secluded gated life away from uh away from you know the wastelands as they say uh, by the way we haven't mentioned it but like these load screens they don't have a mini game but they do have lots of like really cool 1950s aesthetic this sort of like you know nuclear family kind of you know just post-war post-world war ii kind of naivete um, okay, so here's the problem. It's nighttime, and if we blow the city up at night, we can't see it. Well, we will see it. But I would much rather do this during the day, so I guess we're going to wait here for a second. It's three in the morning. 
Let's wait. You know, there's nothing like watching the sunrise on the post-apocalyptic horizon. Well, it's daytime. Let's blow this mother. The pulse charge is rigged. Excellent. Excellent! Ah, oh, the anticipation is palpable, isn't it? When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. <laughs> All right, here we go. You guys ready? Megaton, so long. Oh wait, Megaton, so long. Oh my God, kaboom. Actually, you know what? We would have seen that at night. <laughs> oh God. That was uh. Bigger than I thought. Oh, who's this guy? I didn't even know there was another guy here. Um, yeah. That, uh, that definitely would wake anyone up who is still sleeping. It's early in the morning. The, the sun's just rising. But yeah. My God. What transcendent beauty. I don't know why these guys wanted to blow that place up. <clears throat> Allow me to. I have been asked to extend to you an invitation to reside at Ten. Oh, sweet! We get to live here now. And deed to your new master suite. Bam! Oh, and if you wish to spruce the place up a bit, sweet. We now live in an awesome hotel, and all we had to do was decimate a whole town. I don't know why these guys wanted to destroy the town. They talk about real estate development, but like, hmm. Can you spot any available real estate for development around here? Yeah, it's real, real land's real hard to come by. Anyway, let's uh, let's go see what kind of damage we actually did to this uh, this town. Because believe it or not, you can actually travel to the ruins and uh, just see what you did. You know, if you were sadistic or something, I guess. Hey, is that you? <laughs> Oh, Moira survived. Ringing from that explosion. What happened? She's a ghoul now. Moira. I don't know. I wasn't even here. Same here. <laughs> I had just gone down to Springvale to do some tests. Turns out you can't teach a giant ant new tricks. <gasps> oh, I hope it wasn't that Nuka Psycho brew I was working on. I like how she thinks she's to blame. Anyway, um, you can still buy stuff from her, but she's now a ghoul. Uh, a ghoul? What? Me? What do you... Huh? Why am I a ghoul? Is this because of that explosion? Actually, this isn't too bad. I always was curious to do some tests involving ghouls. Well, you can do it for the rest of your life now. Um, oh. See you later. <laughs> so, yeah. there's uh, Here's where Megaton used to be. Um, it is... Just nothing. Wait, where's the inside? The inside is over here. Oh, we not we we can't even like get in there. I think we can't even get in there. We're taking radiation poisoning just by being close. Well, that's what you guys get for not letting me sleep in your beds. Blow up your whole damn town. Also, we need to get radiated anyway from Moira and her tests. She's somewhere around here. There's the uh, deputy robot that was guarding the front. Anyway, um, I feel like we can't do any, you know, you can't do much more damage than we've done. I like how these guys are like, well, there's no point in hanging around here anymore. Might as well carry on our travels. <laughs> yeah, you guys should get the hell out of here. I'm shocked that you survived. But uh, anyway, yeah, so this has been, this has been actually an extra long look at Fallout 3. I thought about maybe making this a two-part, but then it all just sort of made sense to be a one-parter. Where are you going, Moira? Business. Just going to wander the, the waste now totally alone? Good for you. I don't know where she's going. 
blew up her house, everything she had to live for. Uh, I took everything from that woman. But I got a sweet penthouse, uh, and I got to kill some rats, and I got a laser gun, and killed some raiders, and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, Fallout 3, one of the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. I think it definitely is a game that's worth playing before you die. There's just so much to explore here. There's so many different ways to play it. You can be a good guy, you can be a bad guy. There's so many things to find, and, you know, you can be a combat guy, you can be a sneaky guy, you can pickpocket people, hack computers, you can... Oh, God, there's a, a giant worker ant. You can hack computers, you can pick locks, you can just blow things up. There's slow motion, there's pretty much everything. I do... I am one of the people who thinks that the mood and atmosphere of Fallout 1 was a little more isolating and desolate... And it was a little more hardcore, and I think I like Fallout 1 ultimately better than Fallout 3. But I always wish there was more to Fallout 1. You know, like I wish there was expansions and it got bigger and there was more to explore. Fallout 3 actually has a lot. Like, we haven't even seen super mutants and stuff, and there's all sorts of other things you can do. Who is that person up there? Oh, there's an Enclave soldier. Let's die at the hands of the Enclave. Why not? Might as well. These guys are like the Brotherhood of Steel guys. Like, I barely do any damage to them. Actually, <laughs> I guess I could kill them if I get really lucky. If I use some tactics and maneuverability. But he will pretty much kill me. Yeah, like, I'm doing, like, virtually nothing to him. I'm holding up longer, surprisingly, than I thought I would. I wonder, could I actually kill this guy? Hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. Where's my weapons? Uh, we need a ch Chinese pistol. Where's my, my sawed-off shotgun? That's what we need. Oh, I have no ammo for it. Um, I have, like, no ammo for anything. Let's just shoot him with a pistol. Oh, man! I, I, I'm gonna kill him! Oh, we killed him! Hold on a second. Enclave power armor! I'm over-encumbered. Not for long. Okay, hold on. Oh, we need special training! No, power armor, we got a laser rifle. Man, that guy was shockingly easy to kill. Anyway, what a disappointment. Oh, we leveled up for doing that. Huzzah! Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna call it here. Um, I think Fallout 3 is a game that is worth playing if you like RPGs in any way. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with Fallout 1 either, but uh, those are my thoughts. Um, anyway, what are your thoughts on Fallout 3 here? Is it a game you think you must play before you die? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this extra long look at Fallout 3 here today. Again, if you're craving even more, um, there is uh, that, a whole tutorial section on uh, Patreon. Um, but anyway, that's it for me today, guys. Um, you all take care of yourselves. And until next time, my friends, from Mangor the Mighty, Destroyer of Towns, peace. Jeez, finally.